Hello everyone, welcome to video 22 of chapter 3. So in this video, we will look into um, how to build in the artificial variable process we did last time to get a canonical form to build that algorithm into the linear programming solving process. We take an example and uh, learn the procedure through this example. We call this LP4. This is the example 3.6.1 in the textbook. So we have the following problem. We want to minimize this function z here subject to two constraints with restricted variable. So this is in standard form but not in canonical form. So using the technique we learned last time, we can add two artificial variables, one to each equation, we call it x5 and x6, and then we define w to be x5 plus x6, and we try to minimize it. Okay, So let's put everything together. So after adding the two artificial variables, the two constraints become this. So the right hand side is positive, and then I add two variables. So this is in um, canonical form with basic variable x5 and x6. And then I have the w here, which uh, I try to minimize, and then I get this equation with the procedure that we have done, that is uh, adding the two coefficients of this column and make it to the opposite sign. So 1 plus 1 is 2, I get negative 2, negative 2, negative 1 is 3, I put 3, and so on and so forth, and then 3, 11 is 14, I put negative 14. And then in the last equation here, I put the objective function, which is this one here. So I write it like that. So um, this um, looks like a, a kind of a um, linear programming problem, but uh, we need to like um, minimize w and then minimize z. Okay, And uh, we there are two stages in this computation. Um, the first is minimize w, just take this equation along with you and until you find the minimum of w when w is 0 and that you would have put the constraint in canonical form and then you solve the second stage that is to minimize z then you neglect this one and solve with that okay and the whole process can be carried out in LP assistant it has some special features and build in especially to handle this situation. Um, I made a video on that so after this video you can go ahead and watch that one and see the details of how to set that up. Okay but here in this video uh, let's take a look at how I can put this whole thing in the tableau form. This is actually a tableau from LP Assistant but we can just read it. Okay so the first block here is the original problem, the two constraints and the two things um, that we will have to minimize. So first constraint, second constraint, it's in uh, um, canonical form and this is the one for z and this is the one for w. Okay, so what do you do once this is set in? So let's say we need to first um, make find a minimum of w and hopefully it's zero, right? So let's look at these coefficients and find the one that's negative, which is here. Then you look at this column and find which one to pivot. And then you see that's three, that's 11, so you pivot to that. So in LP Assistant, you will click on that, but you know the pivoting process, you just make everything zero and make it one here. After you've done that, you get the second portion of the tableau. And now let's look at the w part. And I see I have three negative coefficients. And let's say this is the more negative one. So let's pivot here. So I see the coefficient in this column is negative three 
and the 5. So one positive number only. So I will pivot on the 5. Okay, and you can click on that in the LP Assistant. Once you have done that, then you get the next part of the tableau. And then you see for this low, uh, row here, for the W, you have only positive coefficient, meaning the minimum of W is obtained. Okay, so notice that this row um, and this row on here, this row representing the equation for Z. We have been neglecting it, but it's being carried out the pivoting process. It's carried along. It's being pivoted at the same time. So you see all the numbers are changing. Okay? Okay, so once you have this tableau, you see the W mean is obtained, because these are both positive, and the mean is zero. So that means uh, um, you finish the stage one, and uh, um, you have put the original constraint, which is this part here, in canonical form with x1, x3 as a basic variable, with a feasible basic solution with this value for x1 and x3. Okay, So that's the end of stage 1, and now we enter stage 2. So from now on, I will neglect the w line, I will be focusing on the z line. And then look at the coefficient, I will neglect this column from now on because these are artificial variables, I, I just I dropped it. So I'll be looking at these coefficients, and I spotted a negative one. Then I look at this column, and I see there is one positive coefficient, so I will pivot here. So I click on that, or carry out the pivoting process, and then I obtain the next tableau. So you see the, the one for W is not affected, and then um, what remains here, I see that these two coefficients are positive, and that means uh, the minimum for z is obtained, okay, which will be the negative of that, and uh, it's obtained at the solution, the basic solution for this canonical form with x1 and x2 as the basic variable taking this value. Okay, so um, let's um, write this out. So the solution is z min is 14 because it's the negative of that and it's attained at this basic solution x1, 19, x2, 8, x3, x4, 0. Okay, so go ahead and um, watch the um, LP Assistant video to see how to set up the tableau exactly in this form. And, and then what are the meanings of these, and eventually these becomes the artificial variable after stage one, we'll neglect whatever the number is here, they don't matter, and we'll be focusing on the main part, okay? So, um, yeah, um, we will look at another example in the, in the next uh, class video, okay? So, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time.